Okay, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I've got two different piles. So it's kind of a pick a pile and you will get to pick either pile number one or pile number two and then go and look in the description box and there'll be a timestamp to take you straight to your beading. Okay, so choose pile number one or pile number two and then I'll join you there. So, pile number one, welcome. This is your reading. Now this is a love reading mostly. I'm using the Whispers of Love um, deck on here, which is oracle cards for attracting more love into your life. So if you are here, it might be that you are looking to attract love into your life, whether that's a new relationship or rekindling an old relationship, or just seeing where things are in love for you at this time. So let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got Air Was as a rune, which is actually quite a prominent one for relationships. Um, we have the transition card as well. So this is, you know, I love this card because there's always those two stars in the top. So it actually looks like something that's been worked on together, some growth that's happening within a dynamic, within a relationship on there. Um, and this it makes me laugh because the stars on the floor. So it's almost like somebody's tried to find something really, you know, good. Um, found that didn't actually work for me and then now they are sat there in their nest with this one okay and we have the fox and ivy which is adaptability and the card we have for the whispers of love is you are limitless you can do anything you choose okay so looking at what we've got so far I'm picking up a collective here that is about a relationship that is either already happening or a relationship that's in separation at the moment that wants to be rekindled. So if that doesn't resonate with you, then this reading possibly isn't for you. Um, but that's the collective that I'm getting from this at the moment. So if that resonates with you, then this is definitely your reading. So. Air Wars is making me feel that this is not just to do with the relationship you have with somebody else, a significant other, somebody that really means a lot to you on all levels, but it's also helped guide you with the adaptability in the relationship that you have with yourself. It's given you, it's kind of made you look at yourself and bring some self-love in, I'm feeling from this. So this connection, I don't know yet whether it's someone that you are already talking to or already in a relationship or whether it's somebody that you aren't talking to or in a relationship with at the moment. There might be two different collectives there that are listening to this that this will resonate with. So I'm going to pick two more runes to go with Airwaz to see where we're at with that. So what do we have on here? Okay, we've got T was but in the reverse position. So this is a lack of commitment. So there's been a situation here where there's perhaps been a lack of commitment for one reason or another. It may be that there was separation needed for two people to go and work on themselves. Um, maybe you were at a point in your life where you hadn't got everything together and you felt like you didn't have enough to offer in this situation or maybe the other person felt that and left you. Um, or if you are in a relationship currently, you may be feeling a lack of commitment. So perhaps you are waiting for somebody to pop the question. Maybe you are waiting for a new chapter in this relationship, something changing, something happening on there. Okay. Sorry, I froze then because I thought it was bin day then for a moment and I haven't put my bin out, but actually it's not. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's have a look what other room we have on here. Okay, so we have Nordis. So this is soul needs. So this particular connection, there's something about getting needs met. And I feel for some of you that maybe you have in the past, there's been a lack of commitment with this and you've gone away to work on yourself, your self-healing, your, your own personal needs. But you've come around to the idea that actually what I really need is that connection, is that person. Um, you know, it's like going back to this one, that transition, you had to go away and maybe sample some other relationships, sample some other things going on in there to recognise actually everything I want, I can build a nest with, I can build and grow with, 
nothing else really compared, nothing else really mattered. Um, <laughs> I've got two songs in my head there. There's Nothing Else Matters and then um, that Sinead O'Connor one, what is it? Nothing Compares. <laughs> so if that's relevant to you, then that's for you. Um, there's a lot of clouds around this as well. So there's been a few clouded judgments, I feel, um, blocking this connection. Maybe there was information missing or, you know, it wasn't seen. And then suddenly there's been illumination there. So something's been awoken in somebody's soul that's awoken them to actually, you know, there wasn't commitment there, but maybe this is something that you do want to commit to after all. Maybe there's something there that really does call to you. But it means it means adapting. It's interesting this fox because I went to see somebody the other day, and um, as I was looking out of their window, there was they've got like conifers in their garden, and this tail was just sticking out under the conifer, and I was like, that looks like gingery reddish. It looks like a fox tail. So I said to my friend. Um, is, what is that? Is it like a big cat or is that a fox or what? And they said, no, it's a fox. We get this fox that comes in the garden every now and then. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, that you, they must trust you a lot to be in your garden, to be, to be near you. Um, and when I went to see them literally today, they told me actually, the reason its tail was poking out is because it had died. It was a cub that had died. Now, I don't know why exactly I'm telling you that, but fox to me is usually like when there's a tricky situation going on. There's something tricky within a situation. And the death of that there, so as it was a cub, it's a small situation, it's a little situation. It's not a big deal, it's a small thing. Something small that's created maybe secrecy or something to be hidden or something to be um, mysterious, if you like. That's, that's gone. That has been, it's just died. It's an ending. And because of that, now there's a new beginning. So this is the adaptability on here, okay? Um, and ivy, ivy is like a really resilient plant. I'm looking at some ivy right now. Ivy is a resilient plant. You know, it climbs up things, it will overtake something if it has to, um, you know, but it never stops clinging to what it knows is right for it. Um, and other plants, you know, they don't like it or it kill, you know, it just sort of takes over. But it just is itself. It never stops. And this is, I feel like where you're at right now is like you need to adapt your approach towards this. There's an adaptability that needs to happen in your approach towards this. And it is saying here, you know, you're limitless. You're like that ivy. You can keep going. You are limitless. That unicorn on there, maybe unicorns are significant. Maybe this is something rare. This is something that you haven't really um, experienced before. It could be like a twin flame or a soul mate kind of energy to it, an Anamkara. And we've got the two swans sat inside there as well. So it's like, you know, this real union, companionship, being carried by spirit. I do feel that this connection here is divinely guided. It's around divine timing and it is divinely guided and is growing together. It's like you try and, try and separate, try and do other things and stuff, but it keeps pulling you back in, almost like you can't really um, move away from it. There's a lot of peacock feathers as well in there. So there's a lot of protection around this, I feel, spiritually. There's a lot of spiritual protection around this connection. Um, yeah, that's quite a nice energy on there. There's a lot of magic about it, a lot of magic. Okay, so I'm going to pick some tarot cards then to give us a little bit more insight on this. So what is this connection and what do we want to say about it? What can we tell the viewer about this connection? So I do feel like if you aren't communicating with this person at the moment, if you are in separation, it's feeling like there's not any movement at the moment, but on a 3D level, but on a 5D level, almost like a telepathic kind of communication is going on. 
So it almost feels like you are still around this person because you can feel their energy constantly. So even though you might not be talking physically, there is, there is some communication going on in a spiritual realm. So let's have a look on here. Some of you might be going like, well, that's not good, is it? That's no good in this realm. Okay, we've got the four of wands on here. So I feel like there might be an element of feeling a little bit unhopeful. Um, like you don't feel like you've got much to celebrate at the moment. Maybe there was a want for commitment, but it's not happening. Maybe one of you wanted that and the other one didn't. Um, there's kind of like this feeling of, of like, you know, restriction here. It's like you want to get excited about something, but it's just not happening. Like spinning wheels kind of energy coming from that. But I do feel like somebody's coming or has been in this hermit energy. So we've got the hermit in the reverse position. Now, it's a shame because it feels like one of you or both of you are feeling quite lonely at the moment. Like you're not integrating with other people. You're not going out and seeing anybody. So if this is a connection with you and somebody else, just know that the other person isn't going out with anybody. They aren't moving on. They are here. They have not gone and sought love or anything, even lust. They haven't sought anything in any other direction. But they are working on themselves. They are doing a lot of self-healing. They're working on that relationship with self. Um, and they're working on why they lack commitment. And I feel like perhaps you are doing that as well. It's like, why don't I commit to things? Why do I feel... When I'm in something and actually it's going quite well, there's something that happens that changes that. That's what I'm getting from this. There's been a lot of um, withdrawing from things that are going on as well in your life. So that could be maybe you're changing or seeing people in another light now, the people that are around you, like you're not resonating with what they're saying or the things that they're doing, that kind of energy. Um, from here. So why is the four of wands here in reverse? What's that about? Why the whoa? Why the four of wands in reverse? Okay, so we've got the seven of cups on here. So this is kind of like somebody's really thinking about this. Somebody is really deep in thought about this transition. So it may be that there's been a choice, there's been a decision, and there's many possible decisions that could have been made, many possible choices, but it almost creates a bit of illusion because you might feel like you are creating these scenarios in your head, these role plays and things, and then you're like, oh, well, but, you know, if I go and reach out to this person, they might turn around and reject me, so I'll look at another option, or, but something keeps bringing you back to the same thing, to the same thought, to the same feeling. Um, there are many options, but there's a lot of dissipation going on. So it's, it always reminds me of this one um, chakra card. It's from the solar plexus and it's about this old woman and her bird. And they, they watch like um, crime programs or something. And one day they decide that they're gonna become um, like crime fighters sort of thing and do this and, and go around the world and blah 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 and they're having this conversation about how they're going to do all of this but they don't they just sit there so they've had all these thoughts all of these ambitions all of these things going on but they're not doing anything with it and that's a bit like you you've got so many cups there you've got so much potential you've got so much that you could do you know you've got adaptability transition the path is available to you, but you're not seeing it. You're not looking at it. You're not choosing it. So why are you not choosing it? What is that about? You know? There's something about illusion with that. And that always makes me think of daggers, which is about time and timings. And I want to say what I'm being given to say is something about running out of time. You know, there's only so much time that can be given to something. Only so much time that can be given before somebody gets bored of waiting, before somebody gets um, just disheartened or doesn't believe in it anymore, doesn't think it's going to happen. And usually that's about the time when the miracle 
it does happen, okay? But there's a feeling, a sense here that if someone's dissipating so much over something, they're wasting time in actually being in it, being able to do it. We've got the Six of Swords as well, which is also a card of transition, and this is on the bottom of the pack. So this is moving into calmer waters. This is almost like, you know, nothing can ever be the same as it was because you've moved through something. You've gone from one stage to another and you are ready for that transition now. You are ready to move forward in that way. Like, look, you've packed your bags. You're ready to go. <laughs> You're ready for this to happen. Um, so it's time for it to happen. Clarity. We've got clarity of mind on there as well. So it's sort of like this um, is, this has come out a few times as well in reading. So it's, you know, you've really been thinking a lot about this. You're so up in your head about this. And it's almost time to have communication. This is like a aha moment. This is, you know, what you are looking for, what you, what you want. It's within reach. And we've got the King of Cups here as well. So this is, I had this in a reading the other day. It was, it was about this emotional fulfillment. There's love and support here. There's love, support, success, um, and commitment if you want it. So this is if, if this is you waiting for somebody to connect with you. I do feel that actually it's more this person is waiting for you to connect with them. And I do feel that this could be yourself that is looking at the options here or, you know, trying not to miss the signs. But whilst you try not to miss the signs, you're not seeing the signs. And there's so many, so many distractions and options that could be there. But you know, it's like that. He's looking directly at one of the cups. He knows it's that one. And you're very fortunate to have all of these other ones on there, but it's that one that you keep coming back to, okay? And that's just going to keep happening. <laughs> this brings you emotional fulfillment. It brings you into karma waters, into this, you know, soul needs being met. There's a lot of energy around this, there's like a mixture between water, fire and air, um, but more, more water than anything. So there's, there's, you know, this need for flow, for adaptability, for intervention. And I do feel the word intervention is a major player with this because there needs to be an intervention here. I almost see people that need to sit down together over a coffee or something like that and have a deep conversation. Um, there's been a little bit of rebellion towards that in the past, which has created this, like, you know, don't want to commit to this. Um, not allowing access to the higher self, not allowing your intuition to flow and guide you on this. It's been more about sort of like holding back, stubbornness, pride. And yeah, <laughs> that can be the four of wands challenge as well is almost like you know not allowing something because of pride so let's get what the final outcome is of this so what is the final outcome for you oh okay okay that's it very interesting we've got the devil in reverse on the bottom here so someone has been working through a lot of old stories a lot of things that have held you back um, previous patterns and things like that so you're letting go of all of that now um, and allowing this to move forward so like you're not if this is someone that you're waiting to hear from they are not the same person that you thought they were whatever it was whether they had addictions or whether there were things that you thought about them this is showing you a completely different light on this person and it's not dangerous <laughs> as you may have thought before, or toxic, or red flags, or all that kind of stuff, okay? This is a person that's gone away, and in this space, away from you, has taken time to look at, you know, they've learned from the past, they've learned from where they may have been procrastinating, where they may have been caught up in their addictions, or caught up in their old stories, and they've recognised that and released that. 
because I do feel that genuinely with AWOS and TWAS, if it was upright, there is a deep desire for commitment with this. Somebody does want commitment with this, um, but a feeling of like that they're not worth it, that they can't have that. So there's a real slow moving energy towards this. And right now there's a time for paying attention to this connection because time is running out, I'm getting from this. Time is running out. You are in the middle of a transition and the energy, seriously, it feels like on the 5D, you are talking, you're connecting to each other, okay? But it feels like you're not really fully in the 3D realising that. I just see people waiting for a bus that's not coming because there's no driver behind the bus. <laughs> one of you has to drive the bus for this to happen. And I feel like if you're the one watching this video, it's it's got to come from you. Now, please, I'm not telling you if you've just come out of something really toxic and there's somebody around you that has been awful to you or just, you know, it's you've had to escape something or that's, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> this is a connection where it's been quite amicable really, but you've had to go separate ways for whatever reason um, and you've gone away and worked on yourselves, but you're both feeling lonely, I'm getting from this. You both have desires and needs to be fulfilled. You've both recognised where there's a lack of commitment and now you want commitment. And there is, you know, this, you're both recognising where there needs to be adaptability. And I do feel as well there hasn't been any um, conflict. There's nothing to do with conflict in here. There's been no sort of argument or conflict or anything like that. I've said that about several times now, haven't I? It's just being purely, oh, yeah, working through things. So there's there's a reconciliation here. There's something that is, that was left, but nobody ever said goodbye. So, yeah. I do feel that there will be communication by the 8th of the month. Um, so whenever you're, you're watching this, it's around the 8th of the month from where you are and I keep seeing the lemniscat it's you know the infinity symbol so if that resonates with you as well um yeah there's something to do with the crown too the crown um so and birds something about birds I don't know if you've been watching birds a lot or maybe that's something that you did with this person a lot. Perhaps you saw a lot of birds together. Um, birds is a big thing. We've got swans in there. We've got crows over there as well and peacocks too. Um, but this is a sort of form of like you both protect each other on the 5D, like you're protecting each other's energy. Um, you care a lot about each other is what I'm feeling. Um, but the communication needs to come now more into the 3D rather than just being in the 5D. So there you are, part number one. That is for you. And do drop me um, a like, uh, subscribe, maybe drop a comment if this resonated with you. Um, and let me know how things go in your connection, how things pan out for you. And we will move now swiftly onto our pile number two. So, pile number two, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you. Ooh, okay, so we have Perthro, which is a rune of, it's the gambler's rune, it's a rune of taking chances, it's a rune of, sometimes it can represent um, sexuality as well. So as this is a love reading, that might be important to you. We've got the bee and the pomegranate, that's also quite a sexual energy. Uh, productivity is the word on there approve so maybe somebody approves of you um or maybe you approve of somebody else and we also have miracles and blessings everything has its gift i do feel like you may have met somebody recently um so for this person i feel that this is a connection that's brand new um and you have been going about doing your thing um you know working hard 
maybe playing hard and somebody has stumbled into your life is what I'm feeling from this. And this is about taking a chance on this particular connection. So let's have a look. What do we have on here for this particular collective? There was again, we literally had that in the last reading in part number one. And Bacano, yeah, this is definitely a new relationship. So if you haven't already met this person, you're about to, okay? This is a brand new energy that's coming in for you. And it's something that either they're taking a chance on you or you're feeling a want to take a chance on this person. Um, but it is a beautiful energy. It's a rebirth. I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. This productivity is kind of showing that you have been working really hard on yourself and you've come into and I feel like this is more a feminine energy that I'm talking to at the moment but just take it how it resonates um see the bee always makes me think of um the lemon balm plant and the melissa um so the melissa is like the queen bee energy and this is the energy that you are exuding at the moment is like this goddess this you know you are attracting a lot of energy because of you you switched on a light somehow and you're shining like a diamond right now you seem um very very attractive to some individuals and there's one particular individual that i feel is reaching out to you or wanting to take a chance on you um so if you are the masculine then you may be the one that has found this diamond that sees this shiny diamond that you want to go after and it's telling you, you know, it's a good time to take a chance. I'm saying it like that because that's how I'm being given it, is that it's a dynamic where there's a masculine about to reach out to a feminine, not the other way around, okay? Um, now, miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. I feel like there has been an ending for you to a particular relationship. And that's left you feeling like, you know, this is never going to happen. I'm never going to meet anybody. Nothing's ever going to happen for me. But suddenly there's been this brand new energy within you over the past week, I'd say, where you've been feeling more energetic. You've been feeling more like, yeah, I really, you know, this like energy of excitement, um, of feeling good in yourself. Maybe you've been going out with friends more um, and you're being noticed more. People are seeing more of a sparkle in your eyes right now. Um, and that's a beautiful energy. There's something about golden leaves. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of leaves lately or I can see somebody spraying like gold leaf over stuff. Um, I don't know if maybe you are an artist or a creative of some form um, or you've worked with paints or something like that. Maybe you're a decorator or something like that um, or maybe your person is. But it's definitely something about a lot of gold paint um, and golden energy on there. Um... And I do feel like there's this, I'm getting this energy of like a masculine that's very successful, very grounded, but no, like goes after what they want, knows what they want and goes after it. Very hard working, very much, I'll put those where you cannot see them. <laughs> so we'll put those down there. Okay, so I'm going to pick some tarot then now to see just what is going to happen with this connection. So... Let's have a look then. So who is this person, this new energy that's coming in for our person here? What is this new energy? What is this person all about? Let's have a look. Ooh, someone's been talking about you. Okay, so I feel like we've got the High Priestess in reverse. Now this can sometimes come up as being about gossip, but it's not gossip in a negative way. It's, it's gossip in a positive way. So somebody's seeing you. Somebody recognises something about you and I do feel like they're perhaps, there was a point where they were keeping it a secret, but now they're actually talking about you. And so there's a group of people that are hearing about you, want to know more about you. Um, a scene, as soon as this person mentions your name, they just can't help but smile. They're just smiling all the time because of you, okay? Um... I do feel, I see somebody who's got a really beautiful smile. Um, maybe they've got like just uh, a really happy face <laughs> is what I'm getting. It's sort of like a happy, smiley person, potentially um, 
There's an attraction between eye contact as well, but something about the smile, something about the smile of this person. Whenever this person mentions their name, they cannot help but smile, massive smiles. Um, that's beautiful. And I do feel like this connection is being manifested. So whoever this person is, you manifested them, you wanted them, like embody everything, like how they look, the way that they act, the way they move, the way they speak, all of these things. And I do feel for some of you that you've actually heard the voice of this person before, whether it's been in a dream or just heard their voice before. So when they speak, you'll know it's them because you'll have heard their voice speaking to you. Or it just, or their voice brings you some kind of comfort, some kind of like, you know, oh, I know that voice. It, it does something to me. It makes me feel good. Now we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So the Seven of Cups is usually about choice. Um, it's <laughs> you know where you kind of have illusion as well and choice um, and a lot going on and I feel like this person's actually did have a lot of options maybe this person was online a lot talking to many different people many different um, you know possibilities or going on dates I feel like they've thrown all of that in the towel for you it's like this person has put all of that down because they've chosen you. They want you. That's the energy I'm getting from this. It's almost like, you know, there is no more illusion to this. There is no more snakes. There's no more like red flag or toxic or, you know, second guessing or thinking, oh, well, what if this person turns out to be a snake? What if this person turns out to be this, that and the other? No, there's a very definite energy with this that like, I've made my choice. I have made my decision. I know this person. They make me feel like this and this is what I want. This is a definite, definite energy that I'm picking up. And I feel like that is unusual for this particular person. Ah, I've got to get my leg out. I feel like normally this person would be weighing up their options, looking around at different things, different people. Um... And they've kind of took, taken a few steps and then slipped, a bit like snakes and ladders, you know? They've kind of been a bit like, yep, 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 I'm absolutely fine, I'm doing all right. Oh my God, I can't get over this. I can't stop thinking about this. So they've had to kind of, from a secret now, bring it out into the open as like, this is why there's that energy of like the high priestess in reverse there of gossip. Because it's like, they've now had to really say to people like, this is how I'm feeling. Um, and we've got the, the Eight of Wands here, which is about good news. It's communication coming in. Um, it's an energy of things like a conclusion. So it's like this person's had a moment where they've thought like, I really see clearly now. I can really see the way forward of where I want to go. And it has quite a fast action to it. So there's a similar energy to like the chariot energy where there's like a victory and a choice and decision making has gone quick, very, very quick. So I do feel like if you haven't already heard from this person, you're about to. Um, they are coming in. They are definitely coming in. There's an energy though, I feel, I just saw the devil on the bottom of the pack there where, you know, maybe you're worried. Maybe this person has made you feel like you're a choice before or like you you're just an option you're not actually you know that important but i do feel like that is changing now there's a desire over you um that this person is recognizing and deciding that they want you so let's see whoop, what energy we have so tell me more about the eight of wands what can you tell me more about the Eight of Wands for this lovely person here? Whoa, okay, I'm going to look at those. There's a few that came out on here. Okay, so I feel like this person has, they've been through a lot. They've kind of taken a few batterings through life. And to be the person that they are today, this is where they're at. And maybe this is relating to you as well. Maybe you've come out of something um quite difficult 
that's taken a lot to come through, but you've done all of that by yourself. Um, for whatever reason you felt like you've had to do it by yourself. And there's been, like you keep you quite private. I feel like you keep a lot of things in to yourself, but this person has always seen through that. This person has always seen through your mask. Um, and I'm the same, it's like, some, it feels like now, it's gone from like somebody that you, like a new energy, but it's almost like a person that you've known, but a new energy to them. Yeah, that's what I'm getting on here. So that this is some of you, just some of you for the collective. They're looking, they are looking and seeing themselves in a better light. And I feel it's because of you. They are recognizing their gifts and what they bring. And there's like a perseverance to this. It's like they ain't gonna give up. They will never give up. It feels like there's they've tried to give up maybe or they've tried to let go or they've tried to forget but they can't. There's still that that torch is always going to be lit there I feel for you. They are not giving up. Um, they remind me you know when you coppice um, you know, like say like willow or something like that or hawthorn you coppice it down so that it, it can grow again it almost feels like that it's almost like something had to be cut but it was cut in such a way that it's not ended it was cut in such a way that it had chance to grow and that's what I'm feeling with this energy is that things were cut between you in a way that enabled growth and ability to grow um it's kind of a hippie vibe to this as well, where it's sort of like maybe you're both hippies or maybe you enjoy the hippie kind of lifestyle or maybe this person is a hippie. <laughs> um, yeah. But there's changes. There is changes that have occurred and there's a feeling of perseverance and having the stamina and the ability to just sort of like see through, you know, maybe this person unusually would have given up by now, but... They haven't, they haven't. We've got the sun as well, which is, you know, this is joy, inspiration, it's enthusiasm for life. And I feel like maybe that's what this person brings for you. It's almost like I'm getting the song, um, Bob Marley, you know, don't, no, not Bob Marley, uh, Bobby McFarlane, is it? Don't worry, be happy. It's that song of sort of like, you know, just, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life, doesn't matter what hardships you've been through, what things you've been through, this is a time where it's kind of like recognising what you really want, what you really need. And with the Ten of Swords, this can be, you know, there's all sorts of backstabbing and things that go on with this. But sometimes it can also be where you are surrendering to something, you're defeated by something. It's like, I'm just going to, I've got to let go of the past. I've got to let go of the things. And there's those birds again. So I don't know if somebody's seeing murmurations of birds and things that's making you think about this person. Or actually, no, sorry, that was in the other reading. That's not in this one. That was in the other reading. Okay, well, maybe you're seeing murmurations of birds as well. And that means something to you. Um, I'm getting the message of as the crow flies. So this is about somebody taking a higher perspective and I feel like that's what's happening here in this connection is that someone's actually, instead of looking at things from down here and taking on the gossip and what people are saying to you in this particular way, shall I move that down a little bit so you can see? Um, it's more been about like this, just don't worry, be happy. Just, you know, whatever makes you happy, go for that. <laughs> Why hold yourself in places that make you feel unhappy or make you feel stuck or make you feel like nothing's really worth anything? This is time for what inspires you, what helps you to grow, what brings that big smile on your face, what makes your face light up, um, what makes your heart light up, what makes you feel light in your solar plexus. That's the energy that you need on this and that's what I'm feeling from this is it's refreshing it's new it's vibrant it's not like anything that you've experienced before where there was secrecy backstabbing um you know traits that made you feel like you had to protect yourself all the time 
This is an energy of not needing to protect yourself. It's an energy of taking chances, adventure, trusting, and nurturing as well. These are all the things that are involved in this particular connection that I can feel that is coming in for you. So I'm gonna get some timing with this because I do feel like this hasn't already happened. This is something that's going to happen. So what is the timing that we can give to the viewer on this at the moment? See if we get a cryptic message or if we get something else. We've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom as well. So this brings a lot of emotional fulfillment. And um, there's a lot of love and support and encouragement within this connection. So I'm feeling on there. King of Pentacles. Okay. That doesn't really give me a lot, does it? For timing. I feel, and I saw there before, because we've got the eight and the ten there. There's something about between the 8th and the 10th and I do feel like something changed from the end of the last month. Something has, has kind of started to happen since the end of the last month. So we're in the beginning of March right now so that would have only been like a week ago. Um, I'm going to say two weeks. Okay, so this next two weeks, just notice that there are going to be things happening within this connection. It may start off slow because this person is still in the stages of talking to other people at the moment. Um, maybe with, armed with that knowledge, you may be talking to people yourself about this person. Um, but whoever it is, it's someone, like I say, it brings you, when you mention their name, when you think about them, it makes you smile and you can't help it. It makes you think about them. It sparks your inspiration and your passion and your creativity um and there's something very solid about it something very healthy about it as well there is nothing in here that kind of suggests unhealthy and don't forget we also had the approve card too on there so you know this has been highlighted here within many realms this has been highlighted within the 5D and the 3D, and we've got the miracles and blessings as well. So everything has its gifts, okay? Now, I feel like spirit, you know, great spirit is gifting you with this because you've been asking for it and I feel like you've been through a lot lately and you need this now to make you feel wanted, desired, um, happy. Don't worry, be happy, okay? So I'm going to leave your reading there. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and drop a comment if this resonates with you. And please do let us know how this works out. If you get proposed to, if you start to get married or anything like that, I would love to know. <laughs> so have a blessed day.